as I have repeatedly stressed, we should continue to expect the number of cases to dramatically and rapidly rise. We have never faced anything like this before. This is going to be much harder, take much longer, and be much worse than almost anyone is currently Jim, understanding. When you have restaurants indoors in a situation where you have a high degree of infection in the community, you're not wearing masks, that's a problem. The National Restaurant Association estimates about a quarter of all restaurants to close as a result of this pandemic. Coronavirus is on the rise and their businesses are on the line. We're probably looking at some days of no income, no revenue. For the smaller restaurants and the independents, they measure their cash flow in days, maybe weeks. This is not something that's sustainable for them anytime soon. I have just enacted an executive order to shut down all bars, restaurants, movie theaters, and gyms across the state, effective at 5 p.m. today. I mean, especially in times like this, you know, we've had a lot of periods of isolation. You know, people have been not able to see their families for a long time, not being able to see their friends for a long time also. So being here at the bakery with my family, we never felt alone. You know, you've always had someone got your back. You've always got someone else's back. You know, it's just like you'd be able to like be a part of someone's life for a short period of time, you know, be able to help them and start a conversation. It's just like great, it's a great feeling because everyone comes in happy because they're delighted, you know, to see us and to get something nice to eat, you know. The bread that we provide to the customer is the closest that you're going to get if you make it yourself at home. Also, we, we bake it seven days a week. So every day that you come here, your bread that you're getting is fresh. Coming here, you know, as an immigrant, you know, working from the bottom, you know, working as hard as you can for the, you know, to build those roots for your family and to, you know, establish yourself in this country. You know, that's something that my parents have been trying to do. You know, we're the first generation, my brother and I are the first generation of, you know, of their kids, you know, being here in the United States, being born here in the United States. So we want to, you know, continue that tradition of helping other families, you know, build those roots in the United States. We really appreciate, you know, the customers and we want them to come in here and feel like they're also a part of our family as well. It gets to the point that the customer comes for, for her or for him. It, even though you're making a good product, but it's the bond between Dan and the customer. You know, it's been a tough past year for everybody, for sure. But for us to, you know, continuing to be here and continuing to, you know, provide outstanding service to our customers, you know, having family be the foundation of that has been really positive for us here.
cita se empezó después de tener 15 años de, ya de experiencia en la brasa. Eh, decidimos abrir algo diferente, algo más callejero, algo más casual y, y poder traer nuestras raíces de, de mi país, de El Salvador. La mayor dificultad de abrir, de abrir la bracita fue pues, el confinamiento total, la pandemia. Started when I was 13, working as a busboy, and then bumped up to a server. That was at high school, I was a server. Oh, here's just so much fun. Not that La Brasa wasn't fun, that was more like high, or my, my college. Yeah. Now this is me, this is, this is my jungle, this is my my turf. Um, we're like not in a big city. We're, you know, this is like the neighborhood. So everybody who comes and stops by lives in this area. And so like after like a certain period of time, you sort of, um, you get to know everybody, you get to know the locals and you know, they're super supportive, super loyal, like, It's very cool uh, to like see people come in and you just kind of like are on the first name basis and um, you know like just being able to like be part of like the community and like be part of these people's lives like you know they come here to celebrate like their birthdays you know their graduations I had this little girl sit outside um, but I think she was graduating fifth grade mm -hmm. and I'm like what you're going to middle school she's like yeah I'm going la bracita y la brasa la manejo yo entonces yo soy la que estoy moviendo ese equipo yo soy el que tengo entrenado ese equipo todos con guantes, todos con redecillas, eh, eh, todo, todo bien hecho. Eh, yo les digo, eh, denle de comer. El, la filosofía mía es, hagan la comida que hoy viene su familia a comer. So for me, I think La Bracita is less of a brand and more of a platform. Mm -hmm. It's meant to be more kind of a space where like we can collaborate with different types of people, whether it's creatives or musicians or designers. Mm -hmm. You always want to sort of, if you're going to spend your money, you want to spend it within your community. Mm -hmm. um, and you always want to support like the homegrown local like mom and pop shops. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's very important. I think during the pandemic, a lot of people are realizing that. Vine, vine, vine como inmigrante a los Estados Unidos y, y vine a, a un propósito y gracias a Dios pues eh, pudimos abrir un negocio que no es fácil abrirlo, es eh, bien difícil, pero gracias a Dios se pudo lograr. people who will support us is us you know it's like us supporting one another you know it's like I'm the one who's going to like the other local spot and I know there's like competition and all that stuff but at the end of the day it's like we're all in this together let's just support one another
I think for me it comes from my mother. Because my mother, she, she cooked. She cooked good. I love to cook through to her. And then my wife, 16 years ago when we married, uh, she, my wife has always been a lady, a go-getter. You know, she's uh, hands-on. She's a fighter. But we started from our home like seven years ago. Not too many people would come. It was slow. We had to close for a month or something like that. And then slowly be here to keep it open. And uh, it, it started in the pandemic and it, was, uh, it wasn't too easy, you know. Right. Sometimes we say, oh man, let's quit today. You know, I'm 60. My wife is 40 something, 50 something. But, you know, after you start doing it, you get a little oil in your bones, you feel like continuing, you know what I'm saying? Uh, number one, uh, go. Anybody come here, we take care of them. Rich or poor, whatever. Doesn't matter to us. Many times if you're hungry, I ain't got no food, take it. Just like that. And you know what? We're not, we're not hungry for money. You work for money, but we're not gonna let nobody go hungry. Recording. recording. Okay, on three, right? Yeah. Two, two, three. So, Mangoti Light welcomes Gabby and Jeremiah. And uh, really, we're happy to have them here, two young, promising young people. And uh, this is the second time they've job in here. And we appreciate you for really taking a little time of your busy time to just come and speak to an old man in a way. So I was telling Jeremiah and Gabby that Mangu is up for sale. Mangu is a Dominican, we don't want to call it truck. We want to call it a business. Because we got like almost 5,000 followers, 4,000 followers all around here. The name is spreading. Business is good. The uh, the customer service, the customers just love us and we love them. So we want to sell it because, not because of anything, it just that, you know, uh, I'm older, my wife and I maybe started a little old, and uh, not too old, we still got some strong dupes. But at the same time, we are pastors and we want to dedicate more time to the work of the Lord. And that's very important to us. That's number one in our lives. The work of the Lord, that's number one. And number two, number three, Mangu is number four, which we love it. It's a great passion of us, of ours. It, it hurts us and we're feeling real bad. Our daughters and our son are feeling bad, sad that uh, we have to do this, but we have to do it. And we're looking for a nice potential buyer that can continue with another name. We don't want to sell the truck, we want to sell the business with the name and everything. Somebody that knows Dominican food and know our flavors. So we really want to do that and we want to thank all our beautiful customers from the bottom of our heart. And I hope that somebody sees this video that future producer, director, movie writer Jeremiah and Gabby are taking. So we want to thank you very much, and uh, we appreciate all of our customers. Do you, do you regret any of it? No, no. We have met so many people here. So many people that we love, they love us. You know, some 
a little semi-celebrity, radio celebrity, and so forth and so on. TV, news, anchor celebrity, lawyers, newspaper people. So, and now we're meeting, number one, Jeremiah and Gabby. And Gabby. So thank you very much. And uh, we love each and every one of our customers. And we're hoping that uh, if it's not Dominican, somebody else can buy it. But if they can hire Dominican to do that flavor, that would be great. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. All right, so like, what does this place mean to you? Like, how how is this place being built um, a testament to all the hard work that you've had to do in your life? Well, you know, over the years, I've been working in construction in, in different areas. So now I'm putting my skill to work in, the, in this place. Uh, it's very special for us to start from scratch because this place was it's never been a restaurant. It's been a lot of obstacles for us to here in Montgomery County to get all the permits uh, for the reason is because this place was not a restaurant before or nothing close to it. So, um, but finally we got everything together and we're going to start the construction and I know it's going to be a good thing. Thank you. 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 Thank you.